Well, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day we've been waiting oh so patiently for. We follow a long road to get to this point, and we surely won't be going back empty-handed. The rest of the field know what we're capable of doing, so we must show them that they never even had a chance. And when the day is done, the fans in the stands will know that we were the ones to beat. However, the only ones with the ability to beat us today will be ourselves. Keep your heads held high and show these others how we got here in the first place. Our utter domination will not be stopped by anyone. Today we reclaim our eternal glory. Today we will once again be champions. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to another episode of NASCAR V2 Career, and today is the Xfinity Series Championship Race at Homestead Miami Speedway, and we're jumping right into the action. The race is underway. Stage one has begun, and uh, we're going to be coming all the way from the back, as we usually do, and uh, you know the drill with the championship race. We have to beat three other cars. Those three other cars are the 16 of Ryan Reed, the number one of Elliott Sadler, and the 18 of Daniel Suarez. And all we have to do is finish in front of them, and we will be the Xfinity Series champion uh, at the end of the day's race. So that is the goal, and uh, just got to make it past a lot of these guys and get up there in contention to fight with them. Shouldn't be too hard since we've got really good equipment. Remember last season when we came here with the Truck Series, we didn't have that great of equipment, but we still got the job done and won the Truck Series championship. Now we're looking to go back-to-back. -back. And uh, we're already up into 16th, battling for 15th now, so great great moves starting this race off here using that low line just kind of being a bottom feeder if you will and of course we're going to get blocked as soon as i say that a little bit by ty Dillon, but up into this sort of lead pack which is right where we need to be if we want to have a shot at this championship so already on to lap three of the stage a short stage only four laps daniel suarez up there on the high side looks like we're going to get past him as he gets kind of bottled back in the traffic here, we're going to come up, kind of keep him up there if we can. Brendan Gauner outside just in front of him. Elliott Sadler, another championship contender. Ryan Reed was buried in the back. There was, I get a little sideways, touch that apron. That's something we really want to avoid because I like to use the bottom of the racetrack. That is a danger. Yeah, that could cost you a championship if you get too low on that apron and spin yourself out. You cannot beat yourself in this race as we get to the inside of Harvick. Here we got Blake Cook. Justin Allgaier and William Byron battling for the lead with uh, just one lap left, almost a half a lap left in the first stage already. So they fly by pretty quick, and uh, we've made pretty quick work of this field getting to the front, getting underneath Blake Cook possibly for the position, even on William Byron here. We'll see how the corner it looks like. William Byron's going to get a run off of four, and he will beat us to the green and white checkered flag. For the end of stage one, we will come home with second, a very solid first stage. All right, getting ready for the second stage. Now we are underway, starting on the outside of William Byron on row one. Good starting position here for this stage. Hopefully we can make quick work of these guys and then just sort of gap the field. That would be the ideal situation, get out in that clean air. However, we are stuck back right now in about third spot. Get a good run off of turn four, hopefully. I don't know. They kind of stuck with me on the inside there. Getting a good run down the back stretch, though, now as we head in to turns three and four. And I would prefer to be on the bottom. I'm kind of stuck up here on the top as Blake Cook uses that inside lane. A little bit of contact there with Blake Cook. And William Byron still leading this race with four laps in this stage. Four laps left to go in this stage. This is a five lap stage. A lap longer than the first one for some reason, but a little bit more of contact with Blake Cook as I try to get inside of him, and he, he, he's really not making this easy on me. He's using up the lane that I want to use, and I can't get underneath him, but I get behind him now, 
And of course, he's going to get underneath that lane, but I finally muscle my way underneath him, but not before a little bit more contact with Blake Cook. Blake Cook's going to make me work for this championship if I want to win it this year. A little bit more contact if he's head onto the third lap of the stage here. Only three laps to go. So the clock is winding down already on this race as we are just counting off the laps. And we've gotten a great run on William Byron here. We're going to take the lead off a of turn two down the backstretch with just a couple of laps left in stage two. And that's going to be a pretty easy one. Come to the green and white checker. We will win the second stage. Very nicely done. So we are starting a little bit deeper in the field than I expected to. We have to pit for fuel. We did. Not very many others pitted, though. Only about, I don't know, eight cars, really. Maybe even less than that. So uh, we have, now have to get back through this field. A lot of the guys we're racing with are still up at the front. Racing for the championship, that is. But they still have to pit for fuel. So if this goes caution-free to the end of the race, we're going to be in a pretty good spot when it comes to strategy. However, I am pretty confident that we can still just beat them straight up. So that's why I'm going to keep just going for as many positions as possible. As you can see, already up almost to mid-pack here. Just absolutely dominating this field today. Uh, they really never stood a chance, did they? But uh, just, you know, got to make it happen. We can't just let hope for a caution-free race. Never know, the caution might come out. You don't want to get buried or stuck behind with old tires. I want to get to the front just so we can have a, a little bit of insurance, I guess you would say, if a caution were to come out. So inside of Ryan Reed there already. He's our fourth chase contender, playoff contender rather. And uh, we are by him quite easily here. Brandon Jones in front of us now. He's the tail end of this lead pack. As there are 11 laps to go now in this Xfinity Championship race. And diving in low and deep. There's Elliot Sadler, one of our Championship 4 contenders. And we're going to make pretty easy work to him. And we will get by him nice and smooth here. Harrison Rhodes up here in 6th. Having a great run for JD Motorsports. And Jeremy Clements up here as well. A little bit of contact, though, with Harrison Rhodes. And Tip comes down, and I spin him out. Came down a little bit, got sideways, and I made contact with him. And that is going to be that late race caution. So this is kind of the scenario I was uh, alluding to earlier, where the caution would indeed come out. And we will have to start dead even with these guys. So glad I did what I did now. William Byron gets a little bit of an early jump. Justin Allgaier fights behind him, but we're going to get to the inside line here, get a decent run. Justin Allgaier, oh, contact, nigga, way sideways. Not what we want in this race, especially this late on. A little bit more contact there with Brendan Poole. We just need to relax and take it easy here, calm down and just nice and smooth. We're still in championship, we're still in the championship lead with a couple cars in front of us. But let's be honest, I want to win this race. We need to get up here and, and battle William Byron. He got eliminated in the cutoff at, at Phoenix. So we need to get by him and really assert our dominance here at, uh, at Homestead in this championship race that we have going on right now. So side by side with William Byron. And we're going to get to his inside going into turn three. Cleared him into turn three. And that will be the lead. Now we just got to hang on for the remainder of this race. Well, here comes the white flag. It is out now the last lap of the Xfinity Series season for us here. If we can just hang on to this lead, it's quite large. It's a couple of seconds, I do believe, now. Uh, yep, almost, well, two seconds, yep. So a um, pretty big lead. However, Daniel Suarez has managed to get up to second, so we definitely don't want to lose a spot to him, or that would be our championship hopes in the dumpster. But it looks like we're going to get through turn three and four pretty smoothly. We're going to come home to the front stretch. The checkered flag is out. And ladies and gentlemen, we have won the Xfinity Series Championship. That is awesome. Man, I'm happy about it. I know it was pretty much to be expected, but it's still a great feeling to get it done. Uh, you know, you in a season where I've made a lot of mistakes, it's good to just get it done. So here are your final race results here. I finish first. Daniel Suarez, our championship competitor, finishes in the second position. So basically forced a win scenario for us once we got the lead. But we did what we had to do. And we'll get now our payout, $140,000 for the race, plus our $35,000 paycheck from Team Penske. 
Not a bad payday if you ask me. And here are your final playoff standings here. Obviously, we finished first. Daniel Suarez second. Ryan Reed third. And that was Elliot Sadler in fourth. And we are the season champion. Look at the beautiful Xfinity Series trophy there. And we'll celebrate in the window of the car. And uh, with a job well done and another championship in the books, we'll head back to the shop. That is a great feeling to win another championship in two seasons. Finish an incentive contract. We got a message from Brad Keselowski. Xfinity Series champion. Wow, congratulations. All that hard work is paying off for you. Great message from Brad K there. And that means that season two is in the books. Another one down two championships back to back trucks and Xfinity. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. What's next? The Cup Series. So we will sign a contract for Season 3 in the next episode and jump into the Daytona 500. But before we do that, we're going to sign off for this one. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for watching these videos and tuning in. I really appreciate it. And uh, just thank you so much, everybody, for watching all season long. So thanks, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.